Okay, and welcome back. This is Game 2 of the NASL Season 2 Heroes of New Earth show matches between MSI and Online Kingdom. Uh, if you didn't see Game 1, it is up in my channel, and as usual, I'm not going to ruin it for you. Pretty good game. Um, some heroes we don't usually see in the competitive scene, so if you'd like to see guys like Moa uh, get played by names as famous as No Tail, then, then you should go watch that game. Um, so now we're in a game two of, again, these are show matches uh, for the uh, North American Star League, which happened several months ago. So A, these games in particular don't mean anything, and B, some of the things I say aren't going to make sense because I'm used to playing the game now, and this happened in, I want to say, September, and it's now mid-April. And this is the first game we've actually had where I can uh, start before the bands are all finished, so I get to kill some time here and, I don't know, talk about the bands as they happen instead of trying to rush through them and the picks and not being done until the game's halfway through. Uh, so the bands so far are Ophelia, Polywog Priest, Tempest, Plague Rider, Hellbringer, Keeper of the Forest, Tundra, and we're waiting on one more ban. Which... Uh, but in the meantime, nothing crazy. Ophelia, a little strange, don't really usually see her banned. Um, she, it's not like it never happens, but usually you'd rather ban a, a stronger carry or a stronger, uh, like, you know, Silhouette or Valkyrie or... Something like that, um, or Initiator, like Pharaoh, a uh, very common band there. Uh, Keeper, another slightly strange band. He's obviously a powerful hero, great jungler, strong initiator. But you don't typically see him banned that often. And the final band, Rhapsody, is, again, a, a little weird. Uh, good support hero. Um, at this phase in the game, actually, she was one of the best ones. Uh, her Disco Inferno received nerfs uh, after this game was played, but at this point she's she's quite strong, so that makes more sense. Um, but still, you don't see uh, support heroes banned that often. You typically see carries, tanks, uh, initiators, uh, and heroes like Torture, who is really uh, can be played as as any of those roles. You can you sometimes see him in a, in a support role or in a carry role. Personally, I prefer him as a carry because he's got four abilities, all of which do damage. You know, he doesn't have any CC, he doesn't have any real uh, team support type stuff. He's got two abilities in Impalement and his ultimate that only do damage, and uh, a third ability in Agonizing Bonds that has a slight positioning effect but is mostly there for the damage, and then Chain Reactions is obviously a strong stun as well as a good decent nuke. So um, I really hope we don't see Torture played as a support here because I think he is a very strong uh, carry to semi carry hero that uh, can really do a lot of lot of AOE damage. Have great team fight presence, and it really it kind of sucks when you see him sort of waste in that support role. It's not like he's that bad. It's just that you know he does he's a much stronger carry. If you're gonna get a support hero, then then it makes more sense to pick a hero like Magnus or Hammerstorm or Andromeda or Demented Shaman or Voodoo Jester. You know something that uh, really doesn't do well in a carry role, but can do well in a support role. Uh, first two picks we have over on the Hellborn side are Nymphora and Electrician. Uh, Electrician, I believe, was played by, uh, yes, Online Kingdom last game, so uh, picked up here by MSI. It's a little strange. Ellie is a strong hero, but you don't see him played that often, so it's interesting that not only is he picked up for a second game, but he's picked up by the other team, uh, the team that did not play him the last game. Nonetheless, obviously a very strong hero, very strong tank. Uh, and in particular does very well with large stores of mana, gets his mana shield up, which uh, does AoE damage as well. And his grip is um, very strong in the early game. Towards later game, of course, it becomes a little quite easy to stun him out of it, but uh, in the beginning, having that four second grip on somebody is incredibly strong. And of course, with uh, two targeted stuns, and then the Pharaoh ultimate and Hellfire all being able to get rid of that grip. And he may not be as useful in the early game as he otherwise would be. Uh, speaking of 
Magmus and Pharaoh being picked up. Like I said, Pharaoh typically worth a ban, probably the strongest initiator in the game. Once he hits level 6, he can start roaming like crazy and just jump in from way far away. Put up, put up that wall of mummies in the Hellfire and just absolutely tear through people. Uh, he becomes such a great uh, roamer once he hits level 6. And really, in the early game, he's quite strong in a solo lane. Uh, the Wall of Mummies prevents a lot of heroes from being able to chase him down, and of course he can snipe crate pills with the uh, Pharaoh nuke. Parasite. Tortured, tormented soul nuke. Uh, Magnus, typical support hero, great ultimate, does it very well once you get him, get him a portal key, straight steam bath, strong uh, escape type mechanism. And of course, Lobster is one of the better stuns in the game. In particular, I do like it over things like uh, Hammerstorm stun. Hammerstorm stun does have more range, particularly at level 1, but something that Magnus is stun, which is very important, is it gives you the positioning advantage. It gets you into combat very quickly, which for a melee hero is incredibly important. Hammerstorm, uh, heroes like that on your hand, or Pebbles, something like that, that throw their stuns, need to throw the stun and then, w uh, in some sense, waste some of that stun time walking up to the hero. And Magnus is not a hero that suffers from that problem. So, uh, really one of my more favorite melee stunners, uh, and obviously a very popular and strong support Valkyrie. hero. And uh, Online Kingdom Andromeda. are going to finish off their lineup with Valkyrie and Andromeda. Of course, Andromeda, very, very popular support hero. Excellent. Um, positioning advantage you can get with her with the swap and strong stun and the void rip is great for vision and some de-armor. And then uh, Commandor, you know, that's not, that's not something that people talk about too much either, but Commandor gives 28% damage buff at level 4. Now if you're in a 45 minute game with a hero like Valkyrie, that's gonna make a lot of difference in her ability to last hit, or not, not to last hit, to, to do damage in team fights. Um, and in particular the fact that it gives, uh, I think it does make, actually, I don't know. Ah, 36, look at that, even better. Um, the fact that, you know, it's it's all heroes and not just ranged, like, say, Arachna or Moon Queen's uh, auras, that makes a difference when you have Magnus and Fur on the team. That gives you that extra bonus damage to all heroes instead of just the ranged guys. Um, that said, moving on, we finish off with Parasite, Jeraziah, and Kraken on the uh, MSI Hellward team. Now, Kraken, obviously, one of their more favorite heroes. We saw it last game on Online Kingdom side. This year, this time, in one, in the hands of uh, the guy who really made it dominate, Trixie, on Let's MSI. On. I would say he's probably the best Kraken player in the world, and I don't think that, that would be a very contested opinion. He's just absolutely dominant with that hero. Usually you see him in a solo side lane, and I would expect that's going to be the case here as well. Um, with Parasite, uh, probably in that jungle, um, probably Electrician in the middle, and Nymphora and Jeraziah in the other lane. Um, let's see, I don't have auto skip pause on, so let's just... Oh look, we can skip ahead, and nothing has happened yet. Um, Jeraziah, of course, one of those heroes that you don't see picked up really constantly, but, oh look, Nymphora instead, with uh, Electrician in the middle, with Jeraziah soloing the bottom lane. Uh, the top lane, but Trixie's gonna be in the bottom with Kraken. Um, Jeraziah, let's see if him picked up that often, but you do, when you do see him, actually, I think he does, he does better than most people would expect. The, um, uh, Repel, uh, Magic Community is incredibly powerful, having that, uh, basically shrunken head, uh, but uh, instead of having the spend a whole bunch of mana as we see Parasite come in with a Catman Champion, get stunned by Magmus, and that's going to prevent him from really doing anything. Presumably he was looking to set up a stun there, and I'm not sure it really would have worked because both Torture and Magmus have stuns and can get Electrician out of his grip. And I don't think there's enough lockdown between Parasite, uh, Ellie, and the Forest uh, stun to get a kill on either Magmus or Torture, but that could have happened. And with that, Parasite's going to go back into the jungle. Um, but as I was saying, you know, Jeraziah, very, very strong hero. You don't see him picked up that often, but uh, when he gets that carry Zaya build, and, and he really can be out in the front there with his with his repel on, you can't stun him, and that's going to be a problem with uh, you know three heroes on this Legion team having easily landable stuns, and the Valkyrie arrow being you know not too hard to land. Uh, that's that's gonna allow Pharaoh to stay active in team fights and prevent the Legion team from locking him down. So that's a, that's a good pick there. 
Uh, and then Parasite. Parasite's uh, actually a hair I enjoy quite a bit. Fun. Uh, First of many. Crap. And as usual, I missed the blood loss kill. Oh, that's way too far. And I seem to have missed again, and I'm not gonna try to do that because jumping around is just stupid. Instead, I'm gonna try to actually keep a better eye on the minimap this time. Uh, anyway, Parasite, very strong hero. Um, his silence in particular, ultimate, <laughs> really kind of screws you because it does the same thing that Magnus does, is it gives him that positioning advantage for a melee hero. It, j it gets him right in your face and appropriately in the same face up. And it looks like he's gonna be in here in the middle trying to set up a gank. There's a grip coming on on to Magnus and uh, and then Forest Sun's going to follow it up, that Magnus is sent out with Lob Surge, and that looks like it's going to be it. Parasite just a little bit behind, not, not able to get that uh, nuke leech off, but uh, forcing Magnus to use the health pot and a mana pot, so uh, that was well done. Yeah, good, keep them on their toes. But, you know, like I said, even that situation where uh, Electrician didn't get stunned out of his grip by Torture, it actually did go off, there's just not enough damage coming out quickly enough to take that uh, Magnus down, and it's probably going to be even harder with the Torture because he's ranged, so he's at a natural positioning advantage, being farther back. And of course, Magnus is not going to be shy about using his stun to save Torture, because presumably Torture is the guy who's going to try to be a farm here, although it looks like they're, they're partially splitting it because Hani's taken uh, two of those just took two of those big kills. <laughs> Looks like Parasite's still in a Catman champion. He's just jungling over here. Or a Catman soldier, actually. So, really, it's interesting to see the carries on the Hellborn side are all melee. I mean, I don't know if Jerzai is going to be going that carries I build, or if he's going to be looking for more of a support type build. I imagine he's going to be going for a carry, considering he's in a solo sideline. You don't typically give that to a support hero. And speaking of him, he's going to be coming in here. The grip comes out on Magmus, follow up on the Nymphora stun. Uh, Catman stun is going to miss because of the Lava Surge, an excellent disjoint using the Steam Bath. And they're going to turn this around with Parasite, and he's just going to get away with the uh, Haste Rune. In the meantime, Electrician might be in a little bit of trouble here, but he's got Jerzai to back him up, and he's got a 3 on 4 in here, and the going to throw out a heal, and some mana regeneration for Jerzai that's going to immediately get cancelled by the uh, Andromeda Aurora. So he'll get bored in there from uh, Andromeda, but in uh, really better play from Honey, he managed to do uh, disjoint multiple attacks <laughs> from the Hellborn side, and he's going to set up a stun from Torture, and then Andromeda, and Zero's Ice Heal is going to come out and turn this around on Magmus, and there he's going to go down. And uh, Zero's Ice actually got a, already got a mana ring. As Pharaoh uh, throws out a nuke, and then Fora gives at least a mana back. It's a solid kill on Hani, you know. Uh, that's that's one of the problems with Jerzai, you know, you, you, st uh, you sack those stuns, Magnus, then Torture, then Andromeda, and it doesn't quite kill him, and then he turns around with the heal, and he goes, alright, I'm gonna kill you now. Uh, so, yeah, strong hero. And we just saw Alchemist one pick up actually on Valkyrie, and... That's a good decision, I think. She's going to need that to be able to do any damage at all to this Kraken, Jerry, and Ellie, because they're just going to be continuously absorbing so much damage, particularly with the heals coming out from both M4 and Jerizaya. I'm not really sure how the uh, Legion team is going to kill them. I think uh, definitely, definitely this Valkyrie is going to be needing a Stygian, or uh, Sorry, a Shield Breaker. There we go. Again, they're playing too much Dota. Which, by the way, if you if you do have it, Dota 2, kind of fun. Really, really imbalanced right now. So, you know, as much as you might hate S2, at least they make semi-balanced games. Dota 2, it, it's, it is still in closed beta, but it's just ridiculously imbalanced in my experience. And it looks like they're going to try to set up a gank on Ellie, but just not quite in range for the Magma Stun. That's something we touched on earlier. You know, you have heroes like Hammerstorm or Pebbles that have the longer range stuns earlier in the game. And that can be advantageous, and then that's a situation where it might have been better, but I still don't think they would have picked up the kill on Ellie. He's just a little too tangy right now. Oh, 
of do want to make the point of this too. We see Nova playing at Nymphora. Uh, Nymphora is really, in my opinion, one of the best, one of the better uh, support heroes because of her ability to, to give mana like that. Uh, in the early game in particular, being able to spam spells is just ludicrously helpful. <laughs> it's, it's like, if you can just keep doing that over and over again, that's really a better source of damage in the early game, you know, it's why in heroes are viable. So, if you can just keep pounding out that magic damage, which nobody, you know, has uh, magic resistance this early in the game, then really, you can do a lot of damage, and, you know, I think she's a better source of damage for that than anything else. The sun is useful, the heal is useful, but really, that that Nymphora Zeal is just so much fun. In particular, if you get some a lane partner like an Armadon, you just keep spamming spikes. One of my uh, friends plays a lot of Armadon. It's, it's kind of fun to lane with him and do that. And we just see some coming out here on the uh, Nymphora 2. In fact, the Steam Bath is going to come out and try to kill her, and that's going to take her out. Grip uh, on Ellie, trying to counter it onto Torture, and it's not going to be enough. He's going to walk away. And uh, Ellie actually puts up the Electric Shield and does quite a bit of damage. This Pharaoh jumps in on top of him, puts up the Wall of Mummies and the Hellfire, and he's trapped in there, and there goes the Magnus Stun and the Chain Reactions, and Mellow Electrician is going to go down. So that was a, a nice gank right there from uh, Online Kingdom stacking sends on him for and then taking her out with the Steam Map and then the final auto attack on Magnus. And then having Pharaoh roam down and uh, jump in onto Electrician, and then, you know, that's why we see Pharaoh banned all the time, is because he can do things like that, walk halfway to the middle and cover the rest of the distance with his ultimate. For that matter, that's, that's another reason why uh, Magmus works well with Pharaoh, because he can use that stun to get himself inside the mummy walls if he doesn't, or outside for that matter, if he uh, starts in the wrong position, he can really help that. As a positioning tool, that lava surge is quite good. I think it more than makes up for the diminished range at level 1, the increased utility, because you know by level 7 you've got level 4 stun, and that's uh, 10 minutes or so, 15 minutes in the game. You see Jeraziah coming down here looking to set up a gank on uh, Valkyrie, but they don't know that Andromeda's here. And there's this combo coming out onto Valkyrie, and that's going to take her down on top of the Electrician Grip. And, you know, Ellie is not going to chase. Magnus coming in on top of Kraken. Gonna try to take him out with Pharaoh, and I doubt this is going to be successful. You see, there's the stun, and then here's the wall of mummies. Nope, oh, there's a Kraken ultimate. Actually, there you go. That's that was did a hell of a lot more damage than I expected it to, despite the Kraken ultimate. It's a good use of the uh, Pharaoh ult, waiting until he did that, and then using the Pharaoh ult to get him uh, to get himself out of the Kraken. See everybody porting bottom for a Sparrow on an electrician. They're going to lock him down with stuns here. First Magnus, then the uh, Aurora from Andromeda. And is the Hellfire going to be able to get in range? Yes, because of the Valkyrie leap. As Ellie goes down here to die. Oh, they don't see him. They, there he is. <laughs> Fresh for laughing. So Online Kingdom looking really so strong here, you know, there's only a 4-3 hero kill lead, but they've set up some nice attacks, and really it's taken multiple uh, heroes from and decide to get kills, and okay, he's done a better job getting kills with just a few heroes. That's looking at pressure tier 1 tower here, and there's some counter pressure going around the top. The Hellborn have destroyed a Legion tower. That tower goes down, and they're going to port the Jerazine Electric from coming bottom to try and defend, and they will be successful. That's a good tower push, and that's what MSI really likes to do. They're very strong at, you know, pushing towers and taking towers and defending their own towers and really using that to give themselves some map control, you know. Uh, when you take down that tier 1 tower, it's not just about the cold world, it's, it's about the map advantage. You can get deeper in, place wards, and uh, more importantly, it's harder for the opponent to teleport, you know, the, uh, the Hellborn team can now set up ganks in that secret shop area. And it, uh, the 
online kingdom cannot pour in behind them, you know, and, and try to cut them off. They have uh, many more escape routes without that uh, tower in the way, and that's their, it's like they're going to try to gain the same tactical advantage in the middle, but uh, the Legion are put better set up to defend this, although uh, Magnus gets taken out immediately by the Parasite combination, and here comes a Valkyrie arrow that's going to get nobody, just to creep as uh, Parasite infests. An electrician is chasing the underground, but with his mana shield as the torture stun misses. But uh, Faramay is trapped in the wall of mummies, and that may not be enough because of the uh, Zerazai heal and ultimate. And here goes Andrew's main chase down here, and an excellent juke in the woods is not going to matter. It's a squash out of time. Kills him, and the smackdown comes out from the Trixie. Looks like the Hellmarine will back up, take the tower, and the tower. this one. Valkyrie arrow comes out and hits Ed Jerizai, a very nice 5 second arrow there, but it's not going to be enough, they only have 3 nice here. Actually, they are going to attack, and that was a bad idea, because they're going to crack an ultimate, and that's going to take our torture, and uh, Valkyrie's running for her life, and she's barely going to get away because of the uh, arrow ultimate, and an excellent Magnus ultimate coming in here, disrupting, killing uh, Parasite, as well as uh, Jerizai, although, uh, actually, Andromeda got to count on Jerry. So, getting some support there to, uh, from Magnus respawning after he was taken out early. And the other person is going to come out on Magnus, and that's going to be it. And uh, he gives his ultimate to Kraken, who's going to chase on Andromeda as uh, Jeriziah Hill as they comes out. It's an end there. Ellie going around the back is going to find the Andromeda and kill her with the electric shield and some auto attacks. But now he's in some trouble because there goes the torture of stun and the wall of mummies from Pharaoh along with the Hellfire is going to take him down. And, no, just keep him alive, but auto attacks. Can he get away? The man, the Jeriziah. Oh, excellent chain reaction stun from torture. <laughs> the Jeriziah heal just barely kept him alive. And, oh, well thrown. From Valkyrie there, and a bit of a misstep I think from Kraken going left into it. He might have been able to get cut right and miss it on the other hand over the creeps there. But uh, <laughs> almost got away with the shield and Jirazai heal from Electrician, and that kind of shows you how powerful this, this team is, how tanky they are, and how much damage they can absorb. You know, they just stayed in there uh, through multiple respawns of some heroes, and still were managing to not, if not win fights, then at least, you know, not get decimated. Which just goes to show, you know, what are they going to do later game when everybody is all 15 and 16 and it takes longer for 15, than 15 seconds to respawn. As Andromeda is not going to get found by Parasite Illusions. In the meantime, it looks like they're going to try to take Congor here. they got five men on it. The Legion team knows what's going on, though. They're fairly good scouting it out. And really, this is not a quick Congor killing team, but they're going to be able to do it no matter what because of the heals that can come out from... Uh, Jerizai and Nymphora, as well as the general tankiness of the team. But knowing they're not a fast killing, Congor killing team, and the Legion was aware of that, they're gonna back off. here in this Congor pit. Looks like Helborn really is really, really interested in taking Congor as Pharaoh jumps in with the nuke onto Amphora, and that's gonna kill her. But the electrician's trip gonna come on to Magmus and needs to be stopped by the Hellfire as they're chasing each other down. And actually, the Parasite ultimate disjointed by Magmus, I believe. As he runs into Kraken, he takes a stun, and Kraken's gonna run away and probably be okay. Actually, <laughs> charges him back, and throws out his ultimate, and is gonna hit nobody as the grip from Election comes out and uh, hits Parasite. But Magnus is gonna line up a beautiful stun there, and unfortunately, he's gonna go down to the Jerizai heal. In the meantime, though, uh, Parasite's chasing down Andromeda and Pharaoh. Per they're gonna split, but it's likely that Andro's gonna die here. They definitely have the ability to die this tower. And there's a Nympho report coming in for good measure. So, you know, Pharaoh kind of saying, See ya, Nymphora, or uh, Andromeda, we're weird. Sorry, but you're gonna die. And of course, Andromeda will take that, knowing that, you know, she's the support hero and there's no reason for her to. The Hellborn destroyed a Legion Tower. A hero like Pharaoh. 
But there you go, once again, the uh, MSI is taking out a tower, and they have, they've got all three tier one towers, and they haven't lost a tower yet, so that's, this is really what they do in every single game. They manage to find ways to push towers, um, little opportunities to chip them down, and then they come in with uh, bigger pushes after team fights, or before team fights, or whenever, just to gain that map control, gain some positioning advantage, and, you know, like I say, it's... This game is so much about positioning. That's why heroes like Pharaoh and Andromeda are so powerful. Heroes that can, you know, disrupt opponents' positioning and can do crazy things. As Pharaoh does, ex uh, exemplifies it right there with jump in on his ultimate, and the uh, Valkyrie arrow is going to miss. So he's now in the middle of four heroes, and that's a big problem. As Magnus charged up the ultimate and hits two of them very well, but there's like, so much tankiness going on because that's. Kraken and Electrician as the Jerzai ultimate comes out, and they're going to be fine, but Jerzai or Electrician is now chopping in, in the middle of three Legion heroes, and he's going to go down, despite the uh, before it, uh, Kraken ultimate is going to hit three Legion heroes, but it's not going to matter because there's no follow-up. Valkyrie are coming out, not going to hit anybody. And that looks like the end of it. So, um, decent initiation from Pharaoh. He was really way too far for anybody to back him up, but he managed to then not die, and... Uh, his team eventually did come in and probably push him bad out of position without uh, killing him. And with that, Online Kingdom will take a 5k gold advantage, um, or sorry, a 5k, 1k experience advantage, and they're down 5k, but MSI is at 5k. I promise I do know what negative and plus mean. I'm a math major, it's, it's true. It took me a few years to figure it out, but I got it down at this point. In the meantime, let's look at that Valkyrie, because she does have the Alchemist Bones, and she's sitting at 335 gold per minute, which is the highest in the game, but she's really going to need to set that up soon, because these uh, Hellborn heroes are getting tankier. They're, you know, Electrician Kraken, Jerzaia, they're not going to stop getting beefy. I'd really like to see some uh, shield breaker on her quite soon. She does have 600 gold, so she should be able to buy most of it. Or half of it. I don't know if the recipe... I don't think the recipe had changed at this point. So they're actually going to find an illusion of Jerusalem here and kill it. And here comes the second illusion, just for funsies. Because it looks like the uh, Hellborn team were trying to go for a Congor again, but like I said, they, they just can't kill him in time. And Pharaoh has such an easy way to scout them out that it, you know, it's very dangerous for them to attempt that, and to, to jump in and disrupt it for that matter with his ultimate. Very good anti Congor, Pharaoh is. goes the nuke again because they're continuing to kill the Congor and there's the Legion team should go do something about this now and it's like they're going to because they leave them alone and then MSI will kill Congor and that's like not what the uh, Legion wants at all because you know having to deal with Kraken Electrician and Jerizaya already and then plus a token is just a nightmare. It's at this point though that the Legion have finally convinced them that they need to back off that they're gonna go in and and do something if they continue to try to kill Congo. Or maybe they haven't learned their lesson as they go right back into the pit. Just Ellie and Kraken though. The Valkyrie arrow comes out and actually hits Congor, so that's, that's helping out. I'm sure MSI are very, very grateful for the assistance in Congor, and they're gonna need to do something, and they're gonna need to do it soon actually as the Ellie comes out, but it's immediately cancelled as uh, Valkyrie picks up an illusion rune. And Kraken's in the front lines here with the charm, the protective shield on him. And Splash. It's gonna reveal the illusions for what they are. So, yeah, this is not, not an atypical dance that we see here. Everybody's just deciding, oh, I want to kill Kong, but we don't want to let you kill Kong. But uh, Ellie and Kraken are very, very set on doing as a character actually gets Kraken this time. And 
dealing with that. Now uh, they're their ultimate down and the parasite combo coming out on their Andromeda, but that's not going to kill her. So a bit of a waste there. Actually, a good swap out on um, Andromeda as uh, Hani manages to take out two heroes with his ultimate. So, yeah, that's good. If Parasite can't kill Andromeda, then that's very helpful as Ellie Crit comes out and that's going to take out Torture. But the Valkyrie or just misses. I cannot believe that didn't hit Crack or uh, Electrician. Two for two there. It's like might, somebody might have bought back. But that might be the cue for him to tell Hubborn to take Kong on. And so here comes Nephora in with her court, and there are only three legions here and there, and most of their stuff is done. Although, actually, Magnus comes in and turns by Ultimus, and so take out Magnus. No tails need to kill on Kong or Pharaoh's in here being gripped by Electrician, somehow not getting hit by Hellfire, but that <laughs> fly on Parasite's gonna snipe him out with that uh, leech. So that was not a good decision right there, going 3v5, Congor was very close to being dead, and I get that the that OK did not want to give that to MSI, but they were not going to win that fight. It was 3v5, Pharaoh's ult was down, Valkyrie's ult was down, they did not have Andromeda or Torturer, they needed to not do that. Because now they just lost three heroes and Congor. Three heroes, two heroes. Sorry. But yeah, I believe, yeah, No Tail definitely bought back because he got killed way too. No, oh, he didn't. Oh, no, he did. That's right. I can look. He's already bought back twice, actually. I'm a genius. I know that that, that, that counter is there. I'm so smart. Online Kingdom definitely a disadvantage here. They got the token is on Electrician, so he's now got a second life. Um, and between Jerzy and Nymphora he, and his mana shield, he's going to be living for a very long time before he even has to use that token. And typical of the competitive matches now with the token, despite the fact that all five heroes are up, it looks like they all got their ultimates except for Jerzy. They are not going to use this opportunity to push, because they never like to do that. They just like to get the token, and then farm, and then try to push with their 45 seconds less the left of the token. And then they get scared because they don't want to, you know, have the token wear off, and then uh, die. And then they back off and never actually do anything. It's very typical of these games. Actually, very typical of the games I play in, too. You the coat token on a carry, and then all of a sudden, you know what he wants to push is Magnus is ulting here with his PK. I didn't even notice he had that. An excellent port in for Pharaoh, and uh, Pharaoh is uh, going to come out and hit all his higher legions here, except for Valkyrie, who's not even here. Uh, and they're really going to turn this around on, uh, on the legion team. As Pharaoh managed to pick off uh, Parasite, but, you know, the Kraken ultimate. Just excellent placement. All those heroes getting trapped inside Pharaoh's uh, wall of mummies, and they just couldn't couldn't move off that uh, Kraken ultimate. And they, you know, not having Valkyrie there, and there's immediate port support from MSI, which really turned the fight around. So good on Hani getting his port key by 26 minutes, but that's you know without Valkyrie, I was, might not have been the greatest initiation decision. And with that being said, let's take a second to look at the item choices as Valkyrie picks up the Null Fire Blade. So she's got Null Fire Blade, Ray the Teacher, Steam Boots, Alchemist Bones, and a Power Supply. Uh, like I said, I would really prefer a Stay in uh, Storm S Light on her, i.e. Shield Breaker, because my god, I can't get these dinner names out of my head. Um, you know, with the three tanks on, on the Hellborn side, they need damage. They're not going to be able to survive in these fights. Valkyrie is just too squishy to, to do that, unless she's killing people. And uh, uh, a shield breaker really go a long way to doing that. Magnus, of course, does have a support key, and that's really the item that he needs at this point. He can... Actually, a Sparrow jumps in, and he's got an Agonyms. No, he doesn't have an Agonyms. It's interesting that he managed to hit his ally in four minutes. I thought that was what Agonyms did. In any case, they you know, try to jump No Tail, but that's not to be because even if Fairy would manage to hit his ultimate, then No Tail would not have gone down so easily. And the headports coming in from Kraken and Nymphora 
both of them have their ults, so I'm there to it, but it doesn't really matter so much. Back to items, uh, Torture Risk Guide, Embracer, Power Supply, Steam Boots, and a Tablet of Command. Uh, a little bit under geared there, and he's only got 196 gold per minute. And that's really a problem, because Torture is not particularly squishy, and if he doesn't have strong mana regen, then he's not going to be able to pump out a lot of damage, and he's kind of useless in that situation. And really, I think in this game he has been kind of useless, actually, as a Valkyrie arrow comes out and hits Demphora, and Kraken responds by ulting nothing. Presumably he thought that people were going to come in as Pharaoh jumps into uh, Demphora with the ultimate, and here comes the wall of mummies, and... Magnum Sultiman on top of that. Parasite jumping uh, Torturer, but not going to do anything due to the Valkyrie ultimate coming out, and now Torturer is going to chase down Parasite. Not going to be able to. Oh, there's a tap of the command, and the Valkyrie leap is going to give him the bonus move speed that he needs to get out of there, and now Torturer is going to try to pour it out and going to be successful. And Valkyrie is just going to run away. As No Tail was very carefully tableting himself over the hill, and going to use the heal bomb to kill. Valkyrie. In the meantime, uh, <laughs> Magnus is completely screwed, it looks like, because Ellie's got his grip up. Oh, excellent disjoint there with the Tableau of Command on the Electrician's Grip. That might have saved Magnus. And looks like they're going to keep chasing like crazy people, because this is a show match and it doesn't matter. And of course, they're all massively tanky, so they don't care about diving really far. Uh, actually, Magnus uses his PK, and they might be able to lock down Jerezai here. In fact, they do. They're gonna, that's going to be him, and Kraken and Electrician both need to be a little concerned here. Ellie's going to die, but he's got the token. And uh, Kraken's going to pour it out, but you know, Ellie might go down here again with the Ball of Mummies. Well, obviously, he got plenty of stun left, and that's going to be his death. So, you know, a little too much diving there from MSI, but they are in a pretty comfortable lead. Not, not insurmountable by any means, it's only 6 Hegel, and they're really only up 1200 experience, which is not, not very substantial, but they can afford to make a few mistakes like that before they really need to be incredibly conservative. And like we said before, it's a show match, who cares? Um, anyway, that, that torture, like we're saying, is really, really undergeared, you know? He's not really doing much in that fight, in these fights, he's throwing out the chain reactions, he managed to use impalement to barely chase down Parasite, but that's all he can do, and Parasite's one of the squishier heroes on this team, and it really doesn't take a lot of punishment anyway, because, you know, squishy on this team, that's, what a surprise if you're not cracking Electrician or Jerry's side, you're squishy, because the swap comes out from Andromeda, and that's gonna, it might be the death of uh, Nova, in fact it is, and the uh, Magnus Ultimate's gonna fall off, there's a stun coming out, and really, there's actually a lot of damage coming out here, onto the Hellborn team, as Electrician's Grip comes out, trying to uh, take down Torture, in the meantime, uh, Parasite, or Pharaoh's gonna trap himself in his mummy walls, and that's gonna be his death. So really, you know, that's, that's strong, strong initiation on the part of Online Kingdom with Pharaoh and Magnus, and, and you know, immediately taking out Nymphora, which is a good thing. She was a little too uh, and much in the front, a little out of position. And of course, her going down as usually as she does, and having the uh, utility that she does with the stun and the heal, it's good to take that hero out and not focus the tanks. Uh, but even then, with the, with the easy kill on uh, Nymphora, they really couldn't do much after that. They, they can't kill the Ellie and the Kraken, as uh, Magnus and Torture and Valkyrie can try anyway, as, and as Wade was stunned, as Ellie is still jumping in there, and that might prove to be a bad plan, although the Jerzai ultimate is popped, and they're all just going to run away. Fine, actually, except Nymph Magnus, another excellent stun, there goes the... Uh, Andromeda ultimate gonna shoot him right into a Valkyrie arrow that's gonna be on him to die and <laughs> Andromeda's anyway with no help. Meanwhile Kraken's getting completely locked down and Online Kingdom really cleaning up with a fight there. That's uh, let's see, they lost nobody and took out all three of the tanks, Kraken, Electrician, and Jerusalem. So they're showing that they can do stuff here. They can kill these guys if they overplay. Um, but that's what it keeps coming back to, MSI is overplaying. You know, they're they're chasing people. You saw an electrician get hit with multiple stuns, lose a whole bunch of damage, and still he was chasing people past towers. Because he, he just doesn't care. He's just like, I don't... Whatever, hit me, I'm Ellie. Uh, it takes so much for you to kill me. And in the 
meantime, uh, Magnus can use his ultimate to pick off Parasite. And Pharaoh's gonna try to take his tower down. As in Flora's losing her uh, mana and gonna get trapped here by the Pharaoh uh, mummy walls, and that's gonna cause her to die. She's gonna get some TP support in here from a, from a nice Magnus out onto Electrician, and then Torture nice and Andromeda stacking her stuns a little bit. Now, Crypt coming out onto, from Ellie. Onto uh, El uh, Torturer and he's going to die despite the swap. Uh, Kragnall coming out on a Magnus, so that's going to be to his death. Andromeda throws out a common stun, but it's all in vain because she's dead too. And despite uh, Valkyrie uh, picking up a tower kill on top there, that's nice cleanup on the part of the Hellborn team. Uh, only losing Nova and taking out four heroes. As I believe Kragnall died. Sorry, not crying. Pharrell. Pharrell did not die, actually. He managed to get out of there somehow. Sorry, then. Three heroes. But obviously they will take losing three heroes for their uh, support. The Hellborn have destroyed a Legion tower. Particularly considering they also got a tower out of it, and the support got jumped by himself. So it's not like he would have been expected to survive anyway. I think he died before anybody else even got there. And really, you know, that's why they're they're not afraid to do things like they did in a team fight before last and just push like crazy and overextend because they know that whatever, we got fat tanks, we've got strong late game, despite that Valkyrie, she's not the hardest carry in the game, really. She's more a semi-carry, she's not gonna just take over when she wants to. You know, we, we can we can afford to do some stupid stuff and, and still be okay. And we did start talking about items a long, long time ago, but uh, Valkyrie has now picked up a Firebrand, Helm of the Black Legion, and Mystic Vestments on Pharaoh. He's a little bit under gear, probably doing like 207 gold per minute. Uh, Andromeda, actually, with the with being the primary ward placer, uh, has wards, power supply, striders, major totem report, which, you know, isn't too bad, especially considering your teammates aren't doing much of anything. You know, those are, those are fairly standard support items compared to the pretty serious lack of farm on the Hellborn team is there. They're going to be swapped from Andromeda and the Kraken ultimate going to come out on filler and Andrew's going to drop a second here. Magnus ultimate, very good placement, going to drop a whole lot of heroes as Jerezaya just barely survives with his ultimate. Of course it does not mit mitigate the magic damage from uh, Pharaoh's ult and grip coming out here onto Pharaoh, going to get stunned out of it by Torture. But he's going to chase, try to chase people around. Pharaoh money walls are going to come up, but uh, Parasite's got him, and here comes the leech that's going to slow him down. Enough. Just massive amounts of totems continuously being popped, and his hellfire might be just enough as Jerozai eats him up here. But you know that online kingdom again initiating. You know, they've got they've got the initiation with Magnus, Pharaoh, and Andromeda. That's what they do very well. But of course, counter initiation very strong on the Hellboard side with all these tanks there to eat the damage and respond with a Kraken ult or a Jerzaya ult or something. Um, and now it looks like they're gonna try to kill Kongor, and once again, just very slow Kongor killing team. Pharaoh manages to spot, or sorry, Parasite manages to spot a counter ward. Mostly, sort of, he spots it. It's actually a very good ward placement there. Um, I assume that's going to be magic on the ward. Yep. It finally managed to be awarded. Um, anyway. So the Legion team as a whole is relatively undergeared. You know, they've, they've got uh, 230, 239, 201, 106 GPM. Really, the only one who's doing very well at all is Loda and Valkyrie, mostly probably because of that Alchemist bonus. The second highest farmer in the game, um, behind Trixie on Kraken. Who just gets so much utility out of that splash attack. The Hellborn Not just, destroyed uh, a Legion tower. There you go, more evidence of MSI's pushing prowess. They managed to push down the top tower without even being there. God damn, they're good. Um, but anyway, you know, Valkyrie's really the only hero on this uh, Legion team that's managed to get any items at all. And she continues to ignore my cries for a shield breaker and instead going for the Firebrand, which I would guess is going to be turned into a Geometer's Bane. Um, but on 
the Hellborn sign, things are a little different. We got uh, Fly at 278 GPM, Nova at 143, Trixie at 386, No Tail at 269, and Fresh Pro at 284. So a lot of strong GPMs there. Four of the five are over 250, and of course, uh, Nova's got 143, which is very strong for a support hero. And their items, you know, they reflect that. Parasite's got uh, Ghost Marchers and a Codex. That's my favoritest build ever on him. And that's a Codex 4, which at 38 minutes in the game is fairly strong. You can probably one-shot uh, Andromeda with that, and maybe Valkyrie or Torturer. I wouldn't imagine you could kill Pharaoh or Magnus immediately, but you can certainly do a lot of damage. Uh, Nymphora, really the only warder. Uh, and, and definitely a hard support player with the Bracer, Port, uh, Power Supply. Word of, of Sight Striders and Words of Revelation for some dewarding there, nothing crazy. Um, there's, sorry, Kraken's got Ghost Marsters Power Supply. Uh, port Shaman's Headdress, Demonic Brush Plate, and Helm of the Black Legion. Again, very standard items there. Lots of tankiness and uh, Brush Plate, of course. Uh, very powerful on him because the more attacks he does, the shorter the cooldown for splashes. So if he just sits there beating away on people, he'll get more splashes out, and that's a lot of extra damage, particularly with the de-armor from uh, the breastplate and from his torrent, which uh, is great as Magnus throws a stun on Andromeda, and that's there's gonna be no fall off there as Valkyrie or misses. Jerazai with a Storm Spirit, Mana Battery, Striders, ta Tableau Command, Port Longer's Hatchet. Uh, Striders don't really like it on Jerry that much. Uh, he doesn't roam super well. Uh, you know, he, he can. It's not like he can't. He's still with the Heal Bomb and Slow Aura. And obviously the Magic Community. As it looks like. Hellborn are going to group up around Kongor and D War it here. But of course, Legion know what's going on thanks to that Fire Nuke. Um, and really, in the early game, we didn't see him roaming that much. He came to the middle once, but that was via port, so he didn't really need the strikers. Uh, you know, MSI have been running as a group so much as they usually do. That they don't, I don't think they need him to get that. I would have preferred to see Ghost Marchers, maybe even Steam Boots, or the No Tail Special post haste. As Pharaoh jumps in onto the electrician, and Valkyrie ultimate comes out. <laughs> Parasite tries to combo Valkyrie down and almost does it, but gets trapped in the money wall, so he's gonna go down. Uh, return kill onto Andromeda, and here comes the Magnus ultimate, hitting several heroes, but uh, Storm Spirit onto Nymphora by Jerezai, and that was excellent because he's defending from a whole bunch of damage, and uh, Pharaoh comes down as well, so uh, two for one there on in favor of the Hellborn side. Looks like they're going to use that advantage to go finish off Kongor. And that's... The Legion team just keeps doing that. They get Kongor, it's really low, and they push into a team fight, and uh, in that one, they had... They might have had a much better shot than they did before when they went 3 on 5, but... Uh, you know, they, they lose the team fight, and then the Hellborn gets Kongor, so... You know, I think what... Online Kingdom really needs to do at this point is when they win a team fight, they need to go kill a Kongor and prevent uh, either the, uh, sorry, the Hellborn from getting it. Um, but also, we saw, you know, nice Storm Spirits from Jirazina there, so. That was good. Well done, No Tail. Like he needs my praise. Uh, and then finally we got Electrician with a Mock Brilliance, as we saw, killing those creeps at middle air, and Plate of Greaves, Helm of the Black Legion, Mystic Vestments, and a Ring of Sorcery. Of course, uh, a lot of heavy mana users on the Hellborn side, Parasite, Kraken, and Jerezai, will just rip through their mana pools so quickly. Another good reason for that uh, Nymphora pickup. I'm sure that Zeal is always on cooldown, trying to keep their mana up. Um, but the Mock, of course, really a, a great pickup on this... Uh, Help our side because the, probably the tankiest hero on Legion is either Magnus or Pharaoh. I'm gonna bet it's Pharaoh. Yeah, because he's got that helm. Um, as well as the uh, Mighty Blade. Probably going for a shrunken head, I'm guessing. Uh, but that 40 match damage per second, that does a lot in addition to his uh, uh, mana shield. 
So he's going to be putting out a lot of AoE damage, and he's just basically needs to stand in the middle of those fights and not die, which, considering he's got the Mana Shield and he's got Jerzai and him forward to back him up, really shouldn't be too much of a problem. On the Plated Greaves, too, that little bit of armor helps. Uh, this is also actually picked up a Bound Eye, too, probably to prevent that Valkyrie ultimate, and that's always nice for counter warding, and Magnus as well, for that matter. This looks like uh, MSI are going to run the bottom and take out the last tier 2 tower. And the bullet just pops on the Hellborn. Uh, there's really nothing that... I don't think there's any Legion can do about this. They've uh, they got the token on the Kraken and it's going to initiate anyway. And Magnus will throw the ultimate down and not move. <laughs> Kraken ultimate's on top of the Proto Wall Mummies, which doesn't hit too many people, but actually Torture gets pulled back into it. And the uh, Hellborn are actually on the retreat right now. Having lost a whole lot of health, but none of them are dead, and in fact, none of them are all that low considering their strength heroes, and Kraken's actually the lowest, but he's got the token. And excellent disjoint there on the Tsunami charge, uh, Frantic Magnus's stun. And Kraken, there's certain Parasite's gonna try to take out Valkyrie with his Codex, but that's not gonna work because he gets killed. So, you know, successful defense there from the Legion side. They nearly killed the. Uh, uh, tier 2 tower, but they managed to pick up Parasite, and that's it. And actually, the Hellborn are back for more, having uh, healed up, and there's a grip on Robin and that splash attack just decimates people. And Kraken's really in the front lines here, looking for looking for a fight, and they're, they're now going to finish the tier 2 tower. And destroyed a Legion tower. Just, it doesn't look like there's much that um, the Legion side can do. I know, I mean, they they did a pretty good job in that last team fight of avoiding the Kraken ultimate. Torture managed to get pushed back into it somehow, but uh, Magnus basically skipped right over it with his ultimate. Um, and even Pharaoh, despite the ultimate being on top of his wall of mummies, didn't spend too much time in it. But they still couldn't really, you know, finish people off. In fact, it was only because of the portal key from Magnus that they barely managed to catch out Parasite. Oh, there was a nice tsunami charge from, uh, from Kraken. I think that, um, he might have still had the, uh, charm on from Charizaya because I believe his, he's, he is stunnable in his tsunami charge, so... That might have been the reason for it. I'm not sure if you can disjoint. I would lean in the direction of you cannot. But like I said, you know, they, the Hellborn team, they look like they lose that fight. You know, they lose a hero, they don't kill the tower, and they don't kill anybody on the Legion side, and they just come back in. You know, 45 seconds later, they take an Andromeda, finish off the tower, and force Legion to retreat back into their base. And, you know, none of them have been back to the well. You know, they're all full health because of the Cherizai and the Nymphora and you know, the, the stuns and, oh, sorry, the heals and the mana regeneration between her and the Nymphora and the Ring of Sorcery and Electrician. And Cherizai's actually got one for that matter. And Nymph's got an Astrolabe, so they can just do all sorts of healing. Parasites with the haste ring is also going to find a double damage. The electrician just completed something. I'm not sure what it was. Nothing on the courier. And he doesn't have anything in his inventory either. So can't see the stash, of course, with this stuff, this replay stuff that goes on. Uh, so going back to the Hellborn, as I said, on the Legion side, like I said, the Valkyrie turned the Firebrand into a Geometer's main, and I still want to see this thing again, now more than ever. Although there's a Nymphora ult that managed to throw three heroes back up here, and they're going to try to pick off the Valkyrie, which is not going to happen because those are illusions, and she's already back in base. Um, let's see what else. 
Torture has managed to finish off a shrunken head, which is good. He's really picked up his farm. He was below 200 yeah, about 20 minutes ago. He's now up to 243 gold per minute. Of course, it is Ake. Ake is usually a support hero. Uh, so he's probably not super used to this uh, carry, semi-carry role. <laughs> As I'm sure the Hellborn did that on purpose. You leave that one uh, here, uh, creep there to prevent more from spawning can really screw with the jungle farm of the Legion team if they don't notice it. And little things like that, you know, are very important. Um, let's see, Magmus has got an ultimate orb. I would guess he's working on a sheep stick. Strong item on him, of course. You jump in with a uh, portal key and a lava surge, you sheep somebody, and really gives you... use the positioning of the lava surge to get you into a uh, good sheep range and actually be able to use that to attack people. Pharaoh uh, still sitting on the mighty blade. I would Im he's got 14 gold right now. I would imagine he's going to be going for a shrunken head. Like I said, um, he wants to be in the middle there. Uh, if he uses the shrunken head after, I think after the kraken ultimate, the stun on the middle of it is superior magic. I think, but the slow doesn't work if you pop a shrunken after the kraken ultimate is used. But Pharaoh knows something's going on here, and he's got some support from Andromeda throwing out the. Uh, Fermented soul to spot parasite in general. And this electrician uses his bound eye to D ward. On the Heldborn side, then it looks like Parasite's probably finished his codex. Yes, he has a codex 5, sitting on 1400 gold. Don't really know what he's going for next. It varies. Puzzle box is what I would imagine. Portal key is not crazy. As Nymphora is putting right as Magnus <laughs> ports himself, so... <laughs> Some good prescience on the part of Hani right there. <laughs> In the meantime, we got Nymphora, like I said. Uh, finished off that Astrolabe, a extra healing, why not? Uh, Bracken has finished his Beast Heart, so now he is just tanky as all hell. So much. He's got 3300 health on top of a massive amount of armor, as well as, god damn it, more pauses. I really should have trimmed on auto skip pause, shouldn't I? Looks like at this point we are still paused. Good, I hope nothing happened, but we're back into the action because I'm um, stupid and forgetful. I don't know what I'm doing, so I did not turn on the replay auto skip box, because actually it hasn't been a problem much. But I will be sure to do it next time, as they are looking like they've got Trixie caught up there, but they don't. In the meantime, M4 is going to put some people who don't want to go. Apparently neither ele electrician or driver is around. They're gonna try to catch Valkyrie off here, but she's a little too quick for them with that uh, jump or spring grains and bonus move speed. And actually, now she's got a uh, dancing blaze, so presumably going for that um, wing bow. Right -o. No, your place. Tricky man to pick off and with the ultimate. <laughs> and with uh, Jeraziah and Electrician there, I'm really surprised they needed to use the ultimate to kill uh, Andromeda. In the meantime. Uh, Pharaoh gets some revenge for the support by picking off Nova and <laughs> Fly Codex's combo. I'm sure that mattered a whole lot. It's like, so Legion know what's going on here, but I finally got to a point where Hellborn might actually be quick enough at this to do it. And they've spotted Magnus, which is not going to be good for him. He tries to lob surge away, and multiple push tokens come out to get him far, far away from those big knees, and uh, a Valkyrie arrow is going to manage to kill Hit Congor and assist the killing of him. So that's the third Congor kill, of course bananas and the token drop. The token is on Kraken and the bananas are on Electrician. It makes a lot of sense considering Ellie's a heavy mana user with his uh, shield and Kraken is massively tanky. You can probably just stand and let the five of them beat on him for probably a minute or two before he actually dies. Uh, 
uh, in the meantime, finishing things off, you know, Ellie's picked up the shrunken head, so he's going to be nearly impossible to kill now, and Jerezai can use his uh, charm on Kraken, so Kraken's going to have magic resistance as well as a whole bunch of tankiness. Um, the Bound Eye have been transferred to Jerezai, who's picked up a push totem in addition to his Storm Spirit, so no tail's really going more of a support Jerezai build. He's, you know, doing plenty of damage and surviving team fights as there's top and Parasite gets taken out presumably by the pair of Jump and Kraken is just going to be in the front lines here beating on people as Magnus ultimately comes out going to take out Infora at some point maybe. But Electrician's going to come out here and barely I drop this off so Torture and Torture's going to live by popping that trick head. And Pharaoh's in the woods up here just hoping they don't catch him. Magnus in the meantime never did kill off Andromeda and now he's going to try to pour it out but an excellent stun there from Nymph and he's been found. No, they, they can't actually get there. As Andromeda finally gets picked off. <laughs> it's just funny how screwed Magnus is. He's got the push totem and he's got no port. So they can't get up in there because there's no path, obviously. He used the lava surge to get in there, but he can't really get out. Uh, there's the PK, and he runs right into a whole bunch of creeps, and now they know that it, exactly where they are. He is, uh... But he may be able to get out of here, yep, with the push totem. Getting himself over the, over the cliff, and it doesn't even look like the Hellborn was particularly interested in trying to kill him. So, definitely a lost team fight there for the Legion team. You know, a good swap out, saving Torture from Andromeda, but then she managed to fall. They did pick up Parasite, but that's all they got. Actually, it wasn't. It was traded Parasite for Andromeda. What am I saying? That's a good team fight. Shut up, me. As Electrician picks up a Mystic Staff, and... He's definitely going for a sheep stick because he also just bought an ultimate orb. Some massive gold pools built up here. Uh, <laughs> Magnus sitting on 3,700, Torch has got 3,600, Fred's got 2,600, Valkyrie's got 3,200, uh, Kraken at 4,400, uh, Jerzy at 3,000. So this is probably all buyback gold, except for Jerry, who's got a buyback, so I don't really know what he's saving for. Probably a heart. Uh, he wants to get that um, axe first. So, mm, have a bit of a lull in the action here as the Hellborn team looks to expand their 16k gold lead and 16k experience lead. And that looks like they're grouping up in the middle, but without Electrician who is farming the neutrals as he just now finishes his sheep stick. So that's a second CC, CC item on the Hillborn team. Of course, there are no CC limits for this, uh, I, I don't even want to say tournament because it's not, the NASL really isn't a tournament and it takes way too long for it to complete to be called, to call it that. Um, but. You know, the Hellborn team does not have too much CC there. They don't have a lot of stuns, they don't have much hex or uh, other CC abilities there. So getting that Storm Spirit and then uh, uh, Sheep Stick is very good. Crack of course, could be in the middle there. He's got the token, he's got two and a half minutes left on the token, so he's just going to beat on this tower and say, Alright, come kill me, if you can, even though I was so tanky. but it's not going to matter much. The walls and this tower are going to be going down in a matter of seconds. A and now tower. here come the racks, and look at Kraken. You know, he, he's not even really hurt. It's just like, whatever. Nice arrow dodge right there. And that Nullfire Blade is probably doing quite a bit of work as he's losing a lot of mana, but here goes the Sheep Stick on the... Uh, apparently he gets tapped with that, Kraken though, and the sheep is going to for a massive ultimate from uh, Magnus, of course, with Jerezai ultimate does not put magic damage, Jump to manage to kill Parasite, 
and the Pharaoh is going to buy back and jump right back into there. Jerzy is storm spiriting himself to, to prevent some damage. Valkyrie's running away. Mock Valiant is going to kill her. Storm, uh, stun coming out from Nymphora, and that's not going to save Kraken, but of course he's got a token, so it doesn't quite matter. And Ellie's still in the middle of this whole thing, having to charge way past all those towers. Drama is going to die incredibly quickly, and Pharaoh's in a whole bunch of trouble as well, and that Mock's going to kill him. And the sheep stick coming out onto uh, Torture, and that might be the death of him. Yes, they're going to die as well. Of course they can just tank it right there. And Magmus is still alive, but not for long, as the slow aura from Jerezaya, despite the tablet, is going to eventually allow him to be caught up. There's a Storm Spirit is from Jerezaya. Oh, excellent port key from Magmus, and he's got no health, but he's got such mobility with the Lava Surge and the PK and the tablet. Might live. In the meantime, though, of course, the melee barracks get and the range barracks get taken out uh, by the. Hellborn, and now they're going to be working on top. And Magnus might not tower. want to be doing this. I don't know how he's going to get back in. He's going to have to PK into the side. Uh, maybe he's just going to get himself killed. By There's a ward up there, that's why. Uh, Kraken managed to see him with uh, the ward, but the torrent is going to be The shape stick managed to finish him off. So, Nova's gonna <laughs> get tableted out, presumably by Jerzyah. <laughs> He's not going anywhere, bitch. There's a Kraken ultimate comes out on top of about range. You can go down, of course, and Robin is an absolutely face melt. Pharaoh's gonna get destroyed despite his new wall of his As well, the mummies really didn't help him at all there. Just trapped three heroes in with him. And that goes, there goes the GG, and we can see. And. MSI with, you know, not not too dominant a win, but really they were just building up to this. There wasn't any point I, I didn't feel like where, you know, Legion had opportunities and they just misplayed. You know, MSI was completely in control of this game from start to finish with their massive, massive damage absorption. All that healing coming out, even mana regeneration. The Hellborn has destroyed with a Legion sword tower. Sword. And, uh, of course, Nymphora. So, good win from MSI, and let's go to game two.